Hello everyone, and here I am with another LEGO Star Wars Summer 2024 review, and also another for Rebuild the Galaxy, of course, and this one's on the TIE Fire and X-Wing mashup set. So on the front of the box here, we have the uh, LEGO Star Wars logos, and also similar border to what we've been seeing since early 2022, but of course now multicolored, fitting to the Rebuild the Galaxy logo, and picture of both models in a menacing flight and a menacing space battle there and also all the minifigs included and also rebuild to tie wing and x fighter of course which i'll do later in this video of course recommended ages is nine and up oh whoops recommended ages is nine and up set number seven five three nine three has a thousand sixty three pieces and then Flip to the back side, which have both uh, ships in resting positions and uh, popping, just popping, popping and swapping the wings, and also opening both cockpits, and that's about it. And the two logos again, obviously, and there. Now onto the two manuals, uh, which kind of same exact kind of picture, but oriented in different ways to that. But like first manual, which has an ad for the transition from plastic bags to paper bags, and also add for the builder app. And on the back, have add for the Star Wars logo, and then advertisement of the other rebuild the galaxy sets, which Dark Falcon, of which I'll be reviewing quite soon, and last building step just for the time fire, of course. And then the other one, which builds just the X-Wing. And then how to win on the online survey. And then all the pieces that come with the set. And then the last building steps. Now on to the mini games. First of which is obviously a TIE Fire pilot, kind of the same one that we've been seeing over the last few years. So, there's a well helmet piece and everything else, same as then. And also unique face printing like we kind of saw it in the 2023 TIE Bomber, of course. Or maybe a 2023 TIE Interceptor, I could be wrong, but yeah. And also a random Rebel Pilot to which, which the torso print leg printing, all of which quite the same as what we've had previously, and helmet piece also kind of the same as early ones of which, but with some unique printings to it, which all of which do look quite good. And especially the front part of the helmet piece, which looks like a 1x3 uh, plate or brick on there, kind of interesting. But of course, fitting to the uh, Lego mixing theme of Rebuild the Galaxy, of course. But however, the face printing, also kind of similar to previous Luke's, or recent Luke Skywalker Rebel Pilot figs that there were. But, yeah. And then on to couple of the main characters of Rebuild the Galaxies, a uh, miniseries that there is. First up is Sig Griebling. And of course, with both of these names are kind of Lego related. It's sort of like we had with, uh, uh, with the droid MOC in the Freemaker Ventures sets back in 2016-17, of course. So kind of interesting seeing that here again. So as for Sig Griebling here, which the hair piece of which is kind of similar to what we had on most other previous figs, but the face printing and torso leg, all the prints do look quite good for how they are. And holding this odd staff piece for that has an Exoforce arm piece on it and this little tile piece for some reason. And it also has a, a square one by one stud, but in translucent light blue which is actually going to be some key thing for Rebuild the Galaxy for this uh, series, of course. 
there's well and how it's used for that. You're just gonna have to find out then. And then next to which is Yesi yeah, Yesi Scala. So kinda sounds like Lego Scala from the nineties and turn century. Like however the torso print leg printing, all of which quite good for that. And however the uh, hair piece and the uh, face print of which kind of feel almost like Jana from the uh, sequel trilogy sets. Well, just slightly for that. And then as for this, and the weapon of which, which kind of looks like a gaffy stick that uh, that Tuscan Raiders would usually hold. So not sure why uh, why she has one, but whatever. And then lastly is the Astromech Droid L3GO. So the name of which kind of sounds built similarly to that Lego and has the same colors as the Lego logo for that. But as some folks have kind of mentioned that also similar to McDonald's color scheme for that, but obviously, although, and of course Lego and McDonald's were sort of partnering at one point, but yeah, or a couple of times before, but yeah. But however, the, uh, like the headpiece and the uh, torso printing quite similar to most astromech droids for that and also has them in yellow like we saw on uh, that one that came in the e-wing set for ahsoka last year but at least kind of at least kind of a fun one to have around but yeah and then as for the back torso printing on each of them still has that slight gap for the tie fighter pilot of course and then all, all, all of which do have some back face printings and double side faces. And of course in different kind of uh, ticked off expressions of course. And then so now and as for the selection as a whole don't see what other fix could have been here but yeah. And that's about it with the mini fix selection. Now, first off for the builds is the TIE Fighter, or at least Imperial TIE Fighter for that, which from first glance looks just about the same as the 2021 uh, TIE Fighter where it was like, like scaled down to some degree, well, but luckily there's a few slight uh, changes to it for that, so at least it's not too repetitive or at least eerily similar to that one. Well actually for like for the most part just the wing builds here that quite are like same griefling and everything and also mixel ball socket joints on there obviously and then as for the like uh, center part of which which all quite the same quite the same as that but also the same build for the for the center part which which was also used on the 2023 tie bomber for that and of course, can't get any view from that. And but like for the top part of which, which has a few curved slopes with stickers on them. But on the uh, 2021 version, it was actually a dish dome piece on top of it. So at least there's. So of course, not so much repetition there. And then also do have these uh, glow pieces in dark red, also like that one. But then the back side of which. Uh, not sure if this is true on the 2021 version of the TIE Flyer, but since didn't get around to getting that, but I'm quite sure it might have been, or maybe it's all new for this one. But either way, it still quite works out. And also, and of course, do have a couple of the spring oil launchers onto it where you tap on them and launch off like so. And of course, are in green, which the usual blasts from a TIE fighter tend to have. Also, like we saw on last year's TIE interceptor set. And then I uh, can like flip it open and then enough space to like fit your TIE fighter pilot into there. But not only stickers with, uh, or stickers on the cheese slopes to act as controlling. But whatever. But whoops. And once again, enough room to fit your TIE Fire Pilot mini thing into. 
and just close it over like so. And then underneath of which are the uh, you know, the like uh, technic stopper pieces that are on axle rock pieces can like pull off and then can pop the wings out obviously which is one of the main features of this set but also notice how there's the gold bar piece but in black and that's mostly so it can slide in easily I so I say that's a great thing great touch for that but the full pocket swap feature which I'll do later in the video for that for that but yeah and so now that's about it for the TIE fighter here and now on to the X-Wing fighter or in this or possibly Red 5 X-Wing or or just Rebel X-Wing which also kind of similar to the uh, 2021 X-Wing as well so like both of these sets were kind of like like those two 2021 sets but just modified and being sold as these ones but although this switch does have a lot more difference than the 2021 one like on the front part of which kind of starts out with this curved slope right into it which has been on on X-Wings since like 2006 but however the sides of which are a whole bunch of cheese slopes and well in this case a whole lot of dark red ones and quite a few wedge plates on top of which will newer style ones and then as for the campy pieces which we have been seeing since the ones of the sequel trilogy in 2015 but of course enough space to like flip open and of course do have a little bit of a tile with a control panel onto it and enough space to fit your rebel pilot minifig into and close over like so but obviously since the 2021 X-Wing is the first that introduced to that introduced these kind of pieces kind of nice to see that carry on on to this one but on that one they of which were in uh, in white but these are in darkish gray maybe something to do with rebuild the galaxy or whatever then as for the center part which also have those card hood pieces also like that version but also in this little center part there's a couple of jumpers to fit your astromech droid l3go into of course and, then, and also one thing odd about this is unlike the previous x wings like where all of which had like a little gear to turn to make the wings open and then in versions from uh, 2018 and 20 had like one where you can like pull it forward and make the wings flap open but then 2021 version where you can just push it down and then they pop open but although on the uh, original 1999 slash 2002 one able to just pop the wings open just kind of manually like so so and also the same with the two four plus ones so interesting seeing that go so kind of odd seeing that here on this one and as for both wings which kind of align well how they clap together and then and obviously like the last two x wings just still have for that thing where the spring little launcher is actually on the bottom part of the wings instead of the top part well probably so the top wings can look extra good or extra fine or whatever and of course can launch them off like so and then the side latcher parts of which still quite repetitive uh, from the previous one or I could be wrong but whatever and then the back part of which also like the uh, previous 2021 X-Wing where all these uh, engine parts also like that one and then as for this back part which a little different than that which obviously it's kind of like which does have these little armpits to that bits to it and also this back part of which where you can open up 
and there's a little bit more engine detailing to that. And of course this top part of which, which is just a chest piece part that you get on, that is used on both the uh, Marvel and now Star Wars Max for that. So I say nice use of this piece for that. And then underneath the which, oh whoops, does have three different and uh, landing gear pieces and like these other ones can like fold right upwards especially this front part also oh, like that but then and also notice the uh, black technic parts on there also like we saw on the TIE fighter set in this that is included in this set as well also for the swap feature and now for the swapping feature bring in the type fire of it and here's how it goes like take these two off and then so like pop the wings off which are connected onto a single uh technic pin piece to there and then take the x wing one and like take those rods off And then just pop those wings off like so. And of course, without it, without those extra parts, it doesn't stand up. Both of them like that. And then obviously take the tight X wing, X foil wings, and then put it on there. And they're like so. Okay, and then you can take the rods and then stick them right in. And there, got the tie wing for that. And then, as I pan up here, like take the X wing uh, main chassis body part, is, and then you take the high flyer wings and then oh whoops piece popped off there and then take that and then just slide them in like so and there and then Take the axle rods and then slide them into there. And there. Now I've got the tie wing. And now individually, well, with the tie wing like this, that obviously does have sort of the same stability as the main tie fighter build to that, but although kind of top heavy if you touch on that slightly unless if you had some extra bricks to like stand underneath it to keep it perfectly level and not tip over much but yeah and as for the x fire is obviously does have the same x foil action as it's intended to be which is why they had to be this clicking kind of motion to that and then obviously with the feet part of which kind of odd seeing them like backwards like that although kind of makes it top heavy but backwards for that although you could like turn them forward if you wanted but yeah And so now on to the final work. Overall, I think this is which a quite good set, kind of good set for it. Even though it may be like a direct copy of the 2021 X-Wing and TIE Fighter sets, but at least with this one of which, you get a different selection of meeting figs and also kind of a pop and swap feature to it. Well, as fitting to this Rebuild the Galaxy miniseries, of course.
And of course, as we've had plenty of X-Wings and TIE Flyers over the years, well, kind of released this, which is quite nice to see them like together in a single set and being able to pop and swap for, for that. And of course, good to see this two-in-one concept for that continuing as we have since last year, uh, of course. And as for the mini pig selection of which, nice to see some like fun mentions of Lego in them, like for Sig Griebling and Yessi Scala, and of course the droid L3GO, of course. Of which good homage to the droid MLC from Freemaker Ventures, of course. And of course, they will be most likely the main characters of the upcoming uh, Rebuild the Galaxy series, of course. But yeah. And although for the hundred dollars that it is, which, well, almost kind of like, pretty much almost like ten dollars more than having the two 2021 sets it's together. Well, most likely for the mini pig selection, of course, and for the extra pocket swap feature. Well. Although 90 could have been about as fair, or, but however, but of course it's from a new source material. Well, since of course that's probably why I charge a little extra, but yeah. And so now, if you're looking to get this set for your, uh, for your uh, Lego Star Wars Rebuild the Galaxy uh, set collection range, then definitely pick it up. And if you're looking for a, looking to get the uh, X-Wing and TIE Fire for your collection, but also have a little extra fun with it, then definitely pick it up. And that's about it for this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.